Thank you for being here. So, <clears throat> the topic of the talk is on deep learning for active uh, robotic uh, perception. So, I will start by um, explaining what are the challenges in robotic and applying deep learning methodologies in robotics. And then I will talk about deep uh, active perception, uh, how we can handle this by supervised learning and by deep reinforcement learning and how also this is interconnected with uh, the lightweight intelligence for robotics, so to be able to uh, build algorithms that are uh, lightweight enough in order to be able to be deployed on uh, also small uh, GPUs. And finally, I will present you also a small uh, uh, description about uh, the OpenDR, the Open Deep Learning Toolkit for Robotics that we are developing in our project. So, uh, of course, uh, deep learning uh, led to state-of-the-art uh, algorithms for perception and cognition, uh, and thus provides tools that are very useful for roboticists, uh, and, uh, 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 but there are some problems. There is a steep learning curve, especially for roboticists coming from the control uh, area, that it's not so easy to incorporate deep learning approaches uh, and uh, also there is the computational complexity of these models. We usually need a lot of uh, uh, hardware, GPUs, mostly clusters of GPUs in order to train, but also we need the strong uh, GPUs also in order to uh, perform <coughs> inference. And in many cases in robotics, the inference part should be done on board, so we need algorithms that are able to run on board. Moreover, uh, in, uh, usually in computer vision, we have this, what we call passive perception, uh, which means that uh, the sensor, which means the cameras or microphones or whatever we use are static, are placed in specific places, and we are not considering that these are mounted on an uh, agent actually that has the ability to move around in order to improve performance by uh, acquiring new data using uh, these sensors. So uh, these challenges can be overcome, and we are working in the last years uh, providing a toolkit, a, an open toolkit that uh, provides tools uh, for uh, robotics, deep learning tools for robotics, or for training, but also for deployment. And this uh, is ROS-based, so robotic operating system-based, in order to, to give the opportunity to uh, uh, researchers coming from the robotics area to uh, easily um, use these tools. And uh, we provide also uh, tools that can overcome the computational complexity barrier by using lightweight techniques, so how we can build 